right, this is what a John Deere G sounds like when it's running on one cylinder. Let's check this thing out, see if we can get it fixed. Now I actually discovered that this thing wasn't running right my last trip out here, but I did a little bit of troubleshooting, so I kind of already have an idea for what the problem is. Let me show you what I first started with. So with these being two cylinder tractors, you're only dealing with two cylinders, so it is fairly easy to troubleshoot. I put in new spark plugs and they are Autolite 386s. I know they're fairly new. Um, so I took those out, that's what I did. On this side, this one looked fairly uh, normal in terms of the burn. This one was quite wet. So when I took this plug out on the, uh, when I took the plug out on the left hand side, with it being wet, I knew whatever our issue is, is probably gonna be in this cylinder. So the next thing I did was I started messing with the spark plug wires. And it's kind of a pain with these like guards on here. But anyhow, I had taken, I actually took the guard off prior. <clears throat> and I noticed that the end for the spark plug was not really attached to the wire very well. So I, I kind of recrimped it the best I could, put it back on and the tractor fired back up. It was running on two cylinders again for a little bit and then it kind of quit. So because I was fiddling with that spark plug wire and it made a difference, that makes me feel like the problem is somewhat related to that. Now here, let me show you what I got today. Uh, because I didn't know when this tractor's had it last, I bought a new distributor cap. I got a little tune-up kit for it and uh, new plug wires. We're gonna get those installed and uh, start this thing up and see how it runs. We are on the right-hand side. Here's the old distributor cap, obviously. Here's the new one. Uh, I'm just gonna take it off of there and we'll have a look inside. I mean, the contacts don't look horrible to me. Um, you know, so I doubt that this is really a problem, but might as well just go ahead and put one in there. I'm gonna replace this little end piece. This is what rotates around in there and it hits the contacts and the distributor cap. That's what sends electrical charge through each of the spark plug wires to the spark plug. Now also, while we're in here, we're gonna take this little cap off. Honestly, everything in here looks pretty decent to me. When I open up the points, they look horrible. I mean, I've seen a whole lot worse. So I've actually decided I'm not gonna replace these components right now, the condenser and the points. I really just don't suspect that they're the issue. And I realize I have the kit here, but I also have other tractors. So if I need it for something else, it will be used. Um, I just don't suspect this to be our issue. So I'm going to go ahead and put this cap back on here. We can put this in place. Then I'm going to use our new distributor cap. Put it on here. It's going to clip on the top and the bottom. Now the distributor cap just clips on here with these metal clips. That's what holds it in place. And then we're left with the spark plug wires. All right, so the short wire here goes from the coil to the center plug on the distributor cap. That's an easy one to replace. Now I did leave the old plug wires on here, or at least one of them. So the top one, this is what's gonna go to the left side. The bottom plug is gonna go here to the right side. Now to get these plug wires out, we're gonna have to loosen uh, some bolts and nuts here. Um, I'm actually gonna pull these guards off and we'll get those new wires put through there. So when you're troubleshooting and you're changing multiple things, it's not a bad idea to test things as you go through the process. So to this point, all we've really changed is the distributor cap. I'm gonna hook up the old plug wires just for the heck of it. And we're gonna start this thing back up. And the reason why we're doing that is to confirm, did the distributor cap have anything to do with it not running right? Or is it likely the plug wires? I think it's plug wires, but let's start it back up and see. It's still running the same, so let's change those wires out. Now because we're troubleshooting, and I'm not necessarily just part swapping, I hooked up my long plug wire, fed it through that side, and we're gonna hook that up to the distributor. Just that single plug wire, because that's the one I was suspecting has an issue. And I'm gonna hook that up, and we'll try restarting it. I've got that uh, temp wire put in there. I don't have the boot on there adjusted right, but we're just gonna start it up, see what happens. playing hard to get here.
So still not running right, but it's been running some just on one cylinder. That plug's probably really wood in there, so I might change that out as well. So I mentioned earlier how I bought these new plugs. These are Autolite 388s. And out of the series, um, if you were to look into these, there's uh, Autolite 386 uh, and there's 388. The 386 is not quite as hot of a plug, but it's great if you have a working tractor. This one's not really a working tractor, th so a little bit hotter plug. The 388 is what I prefer for the conditions that I use mine in. So I pulled out the other plug, which I mentioned is a Autolite 386. This has nothing to do with the fact that it's a 386, but um, because the cylinder had not been firing, the plug is very wet. So we're gonna put in this other plug in its place and see what happens. I went ahead and put that new plug in there. I'm gonna start it up and see how it sounds. I hope we hear a difference. wires changed out everything put in the permanent spot where they need to go also got those new uh, autolite 388 plugs in there this thing's back to running how it should have been if you'd like to see more videos with stuff like this old tractors and plows go ahead and subscribe to the channel like leave me a comment let me know if you're a first time viewer anyhow thanks everyone for watching hope you guys have a good day